I think I'm live, but I'm not sure. Uh, welcome, everybody. Today is going to be a very short live. Uh, I know I'm still not scheduled for another uh, four minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and start. Uh, my guest, Melanie, or not guest, my co-host, Melanie, uh, we had talked last night. I was originally going to cancel today, but uh, when I finally uh, decided to do the live, she had made other plans. So I will have her on on the last Tuesday of the month. Um, and so, yeah, we will reschedule her. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Uh, we have Patricia Walker, which is my grandmother. She's in the other room. Uh, she wasn't feeling good yesterday, but she is doing a little bit better today. I'm glad. Uh, we also have uh, Taylor LT. Welcome. Uh, Michelle J., the crocheting dog mom. Uh, Tank, I love to crochet. Jessica Johnson. Hi, everyone. Welcome, and I hope y'all are doing well. Um, and so if you are currently here with me, please leave me a comment in the chat. And if you are watching the replay, um, thank you so much. Leave a comment in the comment section and don't forget to give the thumbs up. Let's see. Oh, and we also have Patriot Prepper, uh, Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. I completely skipped over you. How are you doing, Chuck? Oh, and there's Ganey Joe. Hi, Ganey Joe. And Kim G. Hi, Kim. Oh, I didn't know if I would actually go live today or not. Uh, but since my grandmother's feeling a bit better, uh, she goes, go ahead and do your live. Just do a short one. So today's going to be about 30 to 45 minute live. Uh, and I do have what I was going to show from Friday that's going in the giveaway and what I'm going to put in today. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we got Angela Wright. Welcome in, Angela. She says, hi, Crystal and everyone in the chat. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Drinking water, still working on my granny squares. I know you, you have a lot of them made already, but you still got a lot to go. Um, Chuck says, no worries, Crystal. I'm in the background. Well, Tank is asking you, Angela, if you can see her comment. Or can you see her? <laughs> Hi. We have been getting rain like crazy. Uh, oh, and there's Connie. Hey, Connie. We were going to go and see my aunt on Saturday, and then it rained. And then we were going to try to go yesterday, and then my grandmother got sick. So we couldn't, and we're going to call her today and check on her. We were seeing that it might rain this afternoon. or We got rain coming the next uh, week off and on. So hopefully there will be a day that it stops good enough for us to drive to go see my aunt because we haven't seen her in like over a week. Um, and some awesome news, everyone. She was talking uh, we called her on Sunday to tell her Happy Mother's Day. And she has been working with a speech therapist. And also, they capped off her trach. And she sounded so good. She actually was talking. She, I haven't heard her talk and before her, her seizure on um, March, March, April, April 4th. So I was so, so happy. My, me and my mom, I went out and ran and got my mom from a trailer. And both of our mouths, when we heard Aunt Dale talk, it was like, <laughs> we were just so shocked. It was so clear. You could understand her. I was, I, I'm, I think she's on the mend finally. So yes, very good news. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> And I also wanted to say thank you to all of you that have prayed for and prayed for our family. I really appreciate all of you doing that. That is just so helpful in so many ways. Um, welcome in, Invita. How you doing? Let's see. 
Who am I missing? I just put the eighth month old down for her nap and trying to keep the four year old occupied. <laughs> See, I can see Angela, but she can't see me. Maybe um, Angela has it on top chat. Um, Angela, look at the top of the chat. If it says top chat, click it and go to live chat. Um, that's, that's maybe one reason. If you're not on live chat, you won't see everybody. Oh, I'm happy you were able to catch the live too, Anvita. Oh, Kim has goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, I was just so happy to hear her talking. Uh, she's like um, saying, oh, it's on live chat. That is so strange. She was saying we needed to talk to the people up there that they're planning to do something. And she didn't know what it was. She she still kind of has problems kind of, you know, she still gets a little confused and says yes when she means no or no when she means yes. So there's a little bit of a communication error. She didn't know what she wanted to tell us, but she knew that they wanted to talk to my grandmother. And we just haven't had the chance yet. We've gone through this before. She can see me on other things. PC or phone. Oh, okay. I saw Garden State Gardener's monthly win video from you. Oh, snap. He got a huge box of goodies. Yes, I saw that last night and I watched the whole thing and it tickled me. It tickled me greatly to see how happy he was. Um, and some of the stuff like the crocheted item, it was a cowl. So I let him know, you know, you wear it around your neck and, um, that the Yoda was a cross stitch kit and different stuff like that. And yeah, it's this month. I'm hoping it's not going to be as big because that was, that was 17 pounds. I kind of went overboard the last couple of months and I'm like, Oh, I got to slow down before I make a 50 pound box. <laughs> um, but with that, how about we show what I was going to put on in on Friday and today. Welcome in, Tammy Twyford. How you doing? Uh, the live chat has two settings, all mass messages and top messages. Need to put it on all messages. Oh, well, see, on mine, it just says live chat or top chat. So I uh, guess depending on what device you're on, um, you know, it might say it different. And I got the hiccups. All right. So um, let's start with what I was going to do on Friday. All right. These are just some small little things. This is a double ended highlighter in case you're reading or writing or and you need to highlight something or doing a pattern. And you need to highlight a certain section of a repeat or whatever. Uh, it's a highlighter. Green and yellow. Yeah, green and yellow. <laughs> a little pen uh, to write with. And it has like a little uh, dinosaur on top. A two-year monthly planner calendar thing. It has different uh, months. It has different dates in the in the beginning of it. Special dates uh, like the holidays, and then it has this like the little calendar. And I think there's a place where you can write notes in here. Yeah, in the back there's a place for notes. So that, and then the last thing from Friday. This is so cute. I found it on our clearance sale halls and it's a little truck and it says happy easter and it lights up and i don't know if this one yeah and it changes colors very very cute different setting i mean uh different flashing designs 
So I thought that was kind of cute. All right, so that's what I was going to put on on Friday. Now, what I'm putting in for today, this is a little uh, pocket organizer. You can hang it on the wall, on the doorknob, wherever you want to hang it. It's got three pockets at the top, two bigger pockets. It has a string to hang it from. And you could put like stitch markers or your crochet hooks or whatever in it. And then I have two bowls of Bernat Mega Bulky. And this is a size seven, has 64 yards, and it's in color dark gray heather. And there's two. You okay? So that's what I'm putting in for these two days that I, I almost missed today, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm already gone ahead. I'm 12 minutes into the line. All right, let me catch up on con some comments. Ava's peeling the paper off her crayons. Oh. On phone, it does not have live and top chat. Oh, okay. Welcome in, Jay Paradise. How you doing? On my phone, it has top messages or all messages. Yeah, I guess maybe that's the difference from um, laptop or desktop to a phone or tablet. So... Um. Uh, let's see. That's where I keep it, Kim. I can see Angela. She can't see me. Candy Joe says, very pretty. Jessica says, how nice. Kim G's been a member for four months. More than happy being here. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy to have you as a Yarny Cat uh, also, Kim. All right. Well, I have actually been commissioned to make a top for our neighbor's daughter. Uh, she's fully grown, but um, I think I've gotten the front and the back panel and one sleeve done. And I have to do one more sleeve. And then I have to sew it all together. <laughs> so, and then... Um, Passamaquoddy, Cindy, has also wanted me to do an Amagurumi zebra. So when I get my check next time, I'm going to buy the pattern that she wanted and buy the yarn. And so I'll be commissioned to do another project soon. Um, so kind of excited about that. And the pattern... I kind of adjusted on the top. Um, the lady had working the sleeves in a, oh, Ava loves her chalk. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought she'd enjoy it. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Well, you got a cluck and a crow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ganny Joe. I just saw that little headband and the chalk, and I was like, oh, got to get that for Ganny Joe. Thank you so, so much, Ganny Joe. Welcome, eight smiley lady. I've been hovering here, laugh out loud. I like making it, Magurumi. Awesome. Yeah, I know Cindy uh, Passamakoti doesn't do... Amagurumi, and there was a, a wolf I think I made last year for her that she commissioned me to do, and that one was a little different than I'm used to doing because uh, it had a lot of color work, 
but it was something new and also the way the legs and the uh, the front legs and the back legs were done kind of gave me some inspiration on how to shape amigurumi with increases and decreases so i actually learned something new from that so that was kind of cool um so that kind of helped I have to tell y'all about some good news. I won a wood furls yesterday from Nicole in Hawaii. Now I will be able to hook with one for the first time. Oh, that's awesome, Kim. I have a, a, an odyssey that Dina Cabaz gave me, and I absolutely love that one. And then I have two... Uh, I think they're the resin swirl streamline. I'm really not sure. But uh, Melanie gave me one and so did Abigail. <laughs> my, my brain was not wanting to work. And so, And I have actually not used those because I'm afraid I'll break them since they're resin. But I absolutely love the Odyssey. And I have some uh, bookmarked, um, well, not bookmarked, but like to let me know when it's in stock. Thank you so much, Taylor. <laughs> oh. I can tell you just turned the printer on. It popped up on my screen. Uh, it was actually gifted to me from Tank. Oh, so sweet of Tank. Taylor LT. Thank you so much, Taylor. And my screen just went completely blank. So what is everybody working on? Oh my goodness, I almost lost my... In cap. <coughs> I bought my first and only Furl's Aries hook about two months ago through Dee's link. Yeah, I remember Dee's an affiliate. Tank made a dream come true for me. She is the best. Oh, that's so sweet. I have the hook. Someone gifted me three all metal ones, and I love them. Awesome. Tint, tinctures and extracts. Okay. <laughs> what is that, Chuck? Oh, <laughs> hi, Melanie J. Welcome in. I've missed you. No furls yet. I know I like my metal hooks better. The... They were out of the metal ones. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, Melanie J. I've missed you too. I've missed all of y'all. One live and it's like, uh, you know, <laughs> get behind. I almost had to cancel today, but I didn't. Melanie had made other plans. Um, and uh, Yesterday, I was going to cancel my live, but then today I decided to go ahead and do it. She had already made other plans by then, and I said, we'll just reschedule for the last Tuesday. So I bought some resin ones. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I've noticed that the Streamlines uh, resin are more like um, a Susan Bates hook, and I, I'm not a fan of Susan Bates. Um, I'm more of a boy style, but the Odyssey is a perfect combination of a Susan Bates and boy. It's like a Susan Bates married a boy and they had a baby. <laughs> That's what I think. And it, I love the Odyssey, but they're so expensive. So, um, welcome in 2%. How you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, holistic natural remedies. I'm not a fan of modern medicines. Yeah, I can understand that. 
Um, there is a lovely foot rug pattern that I have been using for making squishy rugs. Made another one today. It's sinfully squishy. Oh, that's awesome. I have resin, wooden, and all metal and two Odyssey. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if I'd buy one of the wood or resin. If I'm spending that much on a hook, it shouldn't break. Yeah, that is so true. They have, have they changed to only streamline or do they have both? I have no clue. I was waiting to see if I could get a wood or metal to try. Not sure about acrylic ones. I would probably break it. That's why I don't want to use the streamline ones that I have because I was afraid that they'd, I'd be too rough on it. I grip mine pretty tight and try to crochet fast. And they're so, so, um, like Susan Bates that I'd, I'd be afraid that <laughs> I'd break it. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in California. Well, awesome. I'm glad you're doing great, 2%. Oh, I make salves too. Uh, where did you get the rug pattern? I'm subscribed to Simple Earth for three months now. Awesome. Uh, welcome in, Kivia Brown. How you doing? Melanie J says, wood is too light for me. I've actually never crocheted with a wooden hook that I know of. I don't think I have. I think everything I've ever used was always metal. <laughs> I have a set of the dots hooks. I guess I've never heard of those. And was using the 2.5 millimeter yesterday and it started bending. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> I was gifted a furl streamline hook and won a furl streamline hook. Awesome, Kivia. That's great. Do you like them? Jay, it's only used metal hooks. Kim G says, my Susan Bates are metal. I have seen reviews on the hooks. They use soft metals instead of aluminum. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I've had plastic just break because my hand is shaped a little different. Oh, that's terrible. Well, at least it wasn't on knitting when it broke. Crochet is easier to fix than knitting. <laughs> if you have a knitting needle that breaks while you're knitting, that's you can drop all your stitches and just... Uh, I have to start all the way over, so I'm glad it was crochet. <laughs> it helps with that weight, I think. Granny D got the dot set. I can't remember what company. I guess the dot hooks don't have the hook handle through the whole thing. Hmm. I've seen the the ones that have like a short little piece like that and then just have the handle on it and it slips out. That's that's not good. We crochet it's knit crates. Uh, I have boy hooks except the resin ergonomic and pink ergonomic hooks. Now we both have furls. How cool. <laughs> yep, Kim, that is, that is cool. I hate those hooks that just have the half of the metal and the rubber handle. What is the point? I know, right? If they're, if they're not going to, you know, like cement it in there somehow and it just slips out while you're crocheting with it that's not helpful 
that. I need a Furl's Odyssey hook myself. Yeah. I have one, and they're always out on their website. So the sizes that I want and the colors that I want, I have them set to notify me when they're in stock. So when they stock them, hopefully I'll have enough money to buy one by them. So uh, if not, then I guess I'll miss out. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know if I'd... I'd uh, if I could bring myself to pay $36 for a crochet hook, the furls resin needs a piece of metal at the neck. Oh, okay. Uh, I watched your beginner's video crochet, crocheted and knitting, and it's touch. Should I not have long needles and maybe use smaller ones. The only ones I got are size 13. Um, I'm not sure what you mean about, I don't have any beginner videos about knitting. I don't think that's me. I have a um, couple of crochet tutorials and one that teaches you uh, the crochet terminology and then a wreath tutorial and hey Joe I, I was saying earlier people were watching your your unboxing yesterday of your winnings it tickled me pink to see how happy you were over some of that I am just ah <laughs> I don't know who you were watching. 2%, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if the only size that you have is a, a 13, um, I I would, I'd try to find some, some other ones that m might help you better explain the tutorials a little better or whatever you're looking on. They're, they're I mean, looking for. Um, I'm sure there are other people that could um, explain it a little better. Connie of Just Another Stitch has a few uh, knitting tutorials on how to do different stitches and how to do increases and decreases and I, things like that, I believe. Um, let's see. I'm, oh, my screen went blue. Hold on, I can't see the comments. Darn activate windows popped up on me. I kept having a blue screen pop up on my laptop ye uh, yesterday, and it was the bl uh, blue screen of death where it gives you an error message and then it restarts your computer. I was, uh, I hope I fixed it, but I don't know. It kind of freaked me out. I'm like, oh my God. Luckily, I backed everything up on a separate um, a terabyte hard drive. Um, let me see. I, well, I was making doilies. It should have not bent. I was given a set of that kind several years ago. The hook kept falling out of the handles. I threw them away. They were just a generic brand from what I remember. It's okay, 2%. <laughs> I have a playlist with all my knitting tutorials. Then I have another play with some helpful knitting tips. Yeah, 2%. That's uh, Connie. Um, if you click the three dots by her name, just another stitch. Uh, she, she, like she said, she has a couple of playlists uh, lists with... Um, different tutorials and helpful tips. So I finished those watermelon peeps last night. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed those. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, everyone that has stopped by after I previously said hello. I've been multi multitasking. <laughs> the Naked Snail. Welcome in, Demetra. How you doing? Okay, that'd be awesome, Connie. So, uh, 2%. Connie's going to try to post the playlist for you. Wow, 31 minutes already. That is has gone by so quick. <laughs> I'll probably stay about 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to hop off here and get some lunch and everything. <sighs> I did take my uh, my Humira today, and that's my fourth injection. My rash is finally gone <laughs> for the most part, except on my knees. That's it. So, yay to that. Hopefully that don't happen again. <laughs> I think it was the bath bombs. I sure do, because one of them turned the water pink, and technically when I dried my legs off, I was getting pink off my skin, so I think it was actually that that gave me the rash, so I actually have one sitting in my closet I never got. Uh, there's still a ring inside, never got it out of there, it's still packaged up. I said... If that's what caused the rash, I'm not getting in it. <laughs> Welcome in, Charity. How you doing? Oh, she says, hi, y'all. See y'all. See you after the ads. <laughs> I hope your grandma starts feeling better quickly. I hope your aunt continues to heal and recover well, sending you all lots of love and healing hugs. Thank you so much, Taylor. That really means a lot. I used to take that too. Now I'm in something else. What, the Humera? I don't know if Charity's out of the ads yet, but welcome in Charity. If you're not, then I'll say hello again once you're out of the ads. Oh, my break. It in a bag and get... Oh, yeah, break it into a bag and get out the ring. Yeah, that's an idea. I didn't even really think of that. I didn't want to waste the actual bath bomb, but if it caused that kind of reaction, I, I doubt I'd want to do it again. <laughs> Maybe use less in it instead of all at once. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. Everybody's posting different uh, playlists. So uh, two percent, if you're still here, Tank, uh, I love to crochet, has uh, posted springs knit stitches. Connie has uh, posted uh, the helpful knitting playlist, uh, and Tank had already posted Connie's, but I don't think she she was here. She was probably off grabbing grabbing it too no i haven't chuck yep i'm here well i'm glad you're still here two percent because they're posted all different stuff for you or for any in anyone in the chat that might want to take a look at those too me too joe is she commented on a video the other day and I'm like, oh wow, I haven't seen her in a while. I'm I'm glad she's here. Well, welcome in charity. I said hello to you twice now. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm glad you're out of the ads and you're here. Welcome in. I cannot grow anything in this lake in the pasture. May 
dry water lilies. <laughs> oh. Yes, Humira. Now I have. Yeah, where is it? Stellara. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've only done the. I'm. I'm take. I was taking the Humira. I started it. I did one injection. Eight days later, I did another one, and then after that, it's every other week. Um, so this is my fourth injection. Um, so I know. I'm not allergic to it. Thank God. I The last one I did two weeks ago, I didn't even get a red spot on my leg. It just had a couple of little dots that popped up. So hopefully that kind of reaction will go away. But I was getting circles about that big on my leg from the first and the second injection. Um, and I called the company and they, they were no help at all. They said, go to your providing physician and I'm like okay can y'all at least tell me if that's normal they wouldn't tell me nothing but they said oh yeah we have to report this reaction to the FDA <laughs> is that okay with you and I'm like okay well can they call you if they need to I go I guess I mean I'm on a government supplied program for this medicine so I kind of have to follow their guidelines Stellara has saved my husband. He has suffered for already over 45 years and finally is doing so well. He can finally sleep. Uh, that's awesome. Taylor. The rain that you get is crazy. I know we've had like rain, like almost a, a about a week now straight, a little every day or very hard every day. It's, it's flooded our, smaller garden in the backyard it it flooded the front yard a little bit on one side flooded the pasture garden Ugh. and it's supposed to rain this afternoon uh mix epsom salt baking soda borax and indian healing clay about half to one cup of each into a hot bath for at least 20 minutes let me write that down so I don't forget. Send some rain to California. I would love to do that 2%. If I could control the weather, I'd give it all to you. Because <laughs> we don't want no more. All right. Let me scroll back up. Um, Epsom salt. Baking soda. Borax. Indian healing clay. Half to a cup. Of each. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chuck. And that's for D detox soak. That's that's interesting. I do have Epsom salt, so that'll be great. Um, Charity says it rained there yesterday and it's raining here today. Some of my older tutorials when I use different cameras are a little blurry, but you should be able to see what I'm doing. And I go into a lot of details explaining. Thanks for the good wishes. Just got food poisoning from my mother's day lunch at the, a seafood restaurant. And it is miserable. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say. Uh, unless she said what it was, so. But she is kind of on the mend, I think. She's actually eating and holding things down, so that's a blessing there. Send all of the rain you guys don't want to us here in Vegas. I'll just send it 
to that whole side of the country and y'all can have it over there. <laughs> <laughs> if I laid on my back in your garden catching raindrops, I think I would drown. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, everybody, for the well wishes for my grandmother. I know she appreciates it. And I never heard back from Melanie, so. All right, so it's 42 minutes in. I'm going to quickly show again, just in case you weren't here in the beginning uh, or in the middle, whenever it was that I showed, um, what I put in for the giveaway on Thursday and, not Thursday and Friday, oh my gosh. <laughs> Friday when I canceled and today oh my gosh okay so two skeins of Bernat Mega Bulky in dark gray heather they are a size 7 jumbo yarn um, a little organizer hanger a pin with a little dinosaur on top. A highlighter that has green and yellow, double ended. A monthly calendar planner, two year, uh, January 2023 to December 2024. And a cute little uh, Easter light. It's a little truck. It says Happy Easter. It's got eggs in it lights up and changes colors. So that's what I'm putting in the monthly giveaway for today and for Friday when I missed. And as far as Melanie goes, I will reschedule her for the uh, last Tuesday of the month. I believe that's the 30th or 31st. I can't remember exactly offhand without looking at, um, at the calendar. Oh, she's sick again. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, everybody. Um, just one of those days. It's rain. It's getting to you. Yep. <laughs> I hope and pray you feel better soon, Mima. Godspeed and feeling better. Thank you, everyone. Um, at least our grass looks good again. <laughs> mm. You would drown and sink into China in the mud. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ganny Joe, for helping us send the rain away. You know, I actually realized you're a little north of us. Uh, so you're only about two hours away from us. So that's pretty cool. Uh, when you break. The bath bomb make sure to wrap it more than once or use more than one bag so they don't break okay hi Doris Hartman I'm actually just wrapping everything up today was a short live day um, and thank you everybody I'm fixing to do my little video of Tom and um, I'll leave it at that so after the video plays uh, I'm gonna in the live. So I hope y'all all have a wonderful Tuesday. Hi, Julia. Uh, sorry, I'm fixing to leave. It was a short live uh, for today. You could also put the bath bomb in a pillowcase. Yeah. I could also put it in a bucket outside and just let it go out there because I didn't want the stuff uh, in the bathtub in case, you know, it was that that gave me the reaction. Alrighty, so here's me and Tom's. Thank you. If I can, I never figure out. Okay, it's on this tab. Thank you for the supers, uh, everyone.
hope you have a good I uh, hope you all have a good day. Take care and stay safe. And thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, bye, everybody.